Hello and welcome back to the Film Bunker podcast. I'm here today with... Hello, my name is Ben the Hedgehog and I can manage of the blood, which means inside the body of the water management, a little part of water managing. That's a verbatim piece of my Sonic the Hedgehog character on Google. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Follow hi. that, buddy. <laughs> I can't. Hi. I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, hi, my name is Simon and I feel like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I felt like that too, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what was that? I'll get, I'll get to that. Sure, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll yep. deal with that in a moment. Uh, my name's Matt and I found out this week that the Japanese have invented a robot Buddhist monk. So I like to think that at a, when dealing with the um, estate of deceased parties, it approaches them and says... Danger, Will. Pause for laughs. Oh my okay. Is that actually true? That or? is true. There is a really? Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> it's very creepy. Does it look like a Buddhist? I is haven't it? seen the visual. Oh, okay. I just heard the audio. And it terrifying. will give you nightmares. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I forgot to oh. mention my name's Nick. Yeah, so, that helps. on to the Sonic thing. Yeah, I did no. not understand any of that. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing, right? Um, and this was discovered, not really discovered, um, I've known about this for a while, but if you, the theory is, if you type in your first name and, and end it with the hedgehog, that's like your Sonic the Hedgehog character. Ah. Because, like, angsty teenagers all over the world put, like, drawings and profiles... Uh, on, online. I have seen the pictures. Yeah, exactly. They're terrifying. They're yeah. absolutely terrifying. And so that was like one of the first ones on Google Images of Ben the Hedgehog. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's always, it's always great now. <laughs> Audio <laughs> medium. Ben. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just... they, they can't see, but it's bloody. I can see that. That you is can very see the upsetting. Picture, right, yeah. So the rule is. What are we looking at? Well, the rule is you've got to pick the first picture on Google. So that's what it looks like. So it looks like a green <laughs> punk. It's like a green punk Sonic rock. Sonic with a gold earring. Yeah. A death stare, a scar <laughs> over his left eye. Yeah. It, it's That's what I mean. It's all very angsty. And there's, I guarantee you there's one for everyone. And that was the closest profile I got. I think they just watched too much Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, but why did it sound like it was written by like a broken AI or something? <laughs> because it was probably written by a 12 year old. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. They're all written by kids. If you want to disturb yourself for a little bit online... Uh, go Always. look that up. It's even yeah. worse on like DeviantArt apparently. Imagine if yeah, I was oh, gonna say. Yeah, imagine I'll if your time. name was Penis. <laughs> like, typed in Penis the Hedgehog. Do you know anyone's name is Penis? I there's so many <laughs> names that you just can't comprehend. But no, there's honestly there's one for even like even more obscure names. But I mean Ben's an easy one. But I guarantee you there's a Simon, there's a Matt easily, and there would be a Nick. There's definitely a Sonic. Yeah, and yep. if you type in Tails the Hedgehog, it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> or Knuckles the Hedgehog. Wait, is he a hedgehog? I can't remember. No, he's a echidna. Yeah, he's an echidna. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Australia's greatest export. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were enemies at the start, so I don't get how a hedgehog and an echidna fight each other. But... <laughs> you haven't been watching the same nature <laughs> as I have. Can the Irwins tell us how that <laughs> happens, please? No. But yes, that was a useless point of internet crap. Yeah, so that's my contribution done. <laughs> that's ninety five percent of the internet. I think that could actually summarize everything on the internet. It's in very, it's a very game. Tumblr thing. I feel like it's a very Tumblr thing to do. I don't know why. It goes into other personas and things like that. Yeah, it's weird. I like little Google Easter eggs like that. Like Google, will you date me? And it says no. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. But you, is that actually like a that. thing? I yeah. don't think it is. I don't know. I, was Maybe. Like, I haven't tried. It. <laughs> <laughs> I've been low. I've been drunk on the internet before. But that's not something that I've lowered myself to. Can you yet. link that video? <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if it is a video. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that when I get home. <laughs> Finally, a reason to drink. <laughs> so as of late, we've been talking a lot about Marvel and about James Bond. has come up a lot. And we're going to yeah, continue that with that. interesting, and, isn't it? Yeah. We're not going to continue with that. But no, I haven't seen, I haven't seen any Marvel recently. No. Mostly what we wanted to talk about today was TV. Um, just... Westworld's in onto its third episode, I think. Uh, it'll it probably fourth. be fourth by the time yeah. this comes out. Um, Brooklyn Nine Nine was just cancelled and is in a weird limbo. Yeah, which that is our fault. That was yeah. definitely, that was definitely our fault. Absolutely, we cursed it. The Vanka cursed it. Well, so yeah. you should have voted for Parks and Rec. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> so it was it was last time it was. Simon for Parks and Rec, mm -hmm. and then everyone else was Brooklyn. Yeah, and then I threw in oh, the, the good, good place. place, and I was for the good place. 
Well, no one talked about The Good Place. Seriously, no one talks about The Good Place. Is this a great show? Though? Yeah, but it no one... I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying it's yeah. good or bad or anything. It's just no one talks about it. You don't hear about it. Yeah, I to tell you the truth, I didn't find it until like the second season came mm. out on Netflix, and that's only because at the top of you know Netflix has the, the, oh, the yeah, recent yeah. things that have come out. Mm. It was mm-hmm. on the banner there, and I was like, oh, what's this? And it was good. See, I have, I have the opposite to that. I usually just ignore those things because I feel like Netflix just it highlights a lot of crap I, I for me. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. like I've, I've watched some things that have done that and I'm like, this is really shit. I found the good place because I was at home drunk Googling. That's how I think Kristen Bell. Is, a, <laughs> <laughs> is it a long is it, series? Or is, is it like a... It's on its third season? Yes. I, think, I, think, well, I, I don't think it's come out yet, has it? The third season? I think it... Uh, no, I don't think so. No, yeah, no. Um, no, it's very bingeable. I think mm. it's like ten episodes yeah, or maybe right, a few more than like that. that, like yeah. half an hour each or yeah. something. Yeah, like twenty a, is just like twenty minutes. The, the right. tagline oh, yeah. should be "Not too much Ted Dancing." Everything Captain. I, I love Ted Dancing. Yeah. He's all right. He's okay. <laughs> I love him uh, he's, so he's, much, and he's really good in, in the Good Place. Yeah, yeah. The the twist in, in the Good Place is brilliant. Ever since his hair went like totally white, <laughs> he's got his hair at all. it's his Gandalf the White stage. He's... In in season two of Fargo, he is excellent. Like I haven't seen him. In that. Amazing, and in Bored to Death, excellent, yeah. excellent show that literally no one has watched. Yeah, I've, I've, nev- I've never even never heard, heard of it. Bored to Death. Honestly, I thought you were talking about the crappy Blink-182 album. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, Ted Dance is Sorry, not, 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 not the album, the song, but yeah, the album sucked. But I thought that's, that's what you were talking about. The album did suck. Yeah, it was not good. But yeah. we are not a music podcast. <laughs> we could be. Maybe. California by Blink-182 fucking sucks. The end. <laughs> oh, I didn't mind the title song on it. California? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one was alright. That was alright. And Bored to Death was... A good Which song. one was bought? Was that the, the album? That was before? the that, no, that was that album. But that was the um the promo single oh, okay. that they pumped out. Yeah. Um, but it was a good one. But it was honestly one of the only listenable songs mm. on that album. I yeah. felt betrayed by that album. I know what you mean. I was I never a big. I was never a big Blink fan, so I was just like, ah, oh, yeah, um... okay. They got me through some very angsty times. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what Green Day did for me. So yeah, and and their recent album was good. Green Day. Yeah. I haven't listened to that actually. Yeah, it was good. Oh, okay. I l- listened to one of the singles and I was like, "This sounds like Saint Jimmy again." I don't know which single. Oh, it was. I, I, I think it's like the the best work they've done since American Idiot, in my opinion. Really? Yeah. Because I really hated that triple album thing they did. It had bits and pieces of good songs, but the rest yeah, of but it was, like I've, it I've, was too. It, it could have been one album. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it was too much filler, and I was like, "Why are you doing three albums?" Mm. But yeah, redundant. Yeah. Um, they still make a crap ton of money. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Green Day's listening to this going, no, we don't. <laughs> we're actually <laughs> money. We're flat broke. Um, I did like Ted Danson. Ted, Todd Dan- Ted, Ted, Ted. Ted. I stumbled over my words. There. <laughs> Ted Danson in Damages, which is a show that was, I think it was on FX years and years ago. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, it was a Glenn Close vehicle. It had Rose Byrne in it. And it was very good. It was very... Machiavellian and sort of like a very networky and hyperlinked plot. What type of show was it? Was it, it was a crime drama. Oh, okay. And it sort of told the story of one case over a period of time where you sort of get glimpses of the present and it retroactively shows right. what's happened. And it was surprisingly effective. I can sometimes leave those style of shows unless they're done really well and it was mm. done pretty well. Is it still on or is it finished? It finished... I believe so. I lost interest after season two. <laughs> <laughs> it changes. It changes every season. The main right. story arc, and mm-hmm. it sort of got a bit more. It um, yeah, moved away from its original okay. themes mm-hmm. quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I could never do that well with crime dramas. Generally, mm-hmm. I think the closest I got was Criminal Minds. Um, for a little bit, Mindhunter is amazing. I've never That's heard good. of that. Mindhunter. Oh, it's a. Uh, is it? Is it straight Netflix? I can't remember. It is, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's on any other platform. No. Right. Yeah. It's basically the story about the FBI agents who kind of coined the term serial killer, and about oh. um, during the, is it late sixties and seventies? No or idea. Is it just seventies. It seems more seventies. Yeah, I think it's just seventies, mm. and it's basically them interviewing. Uh, all the serial, like the really famous serial killers of the time, at the same time, kind of solving some ongoing right. cases. So is it actually? So it's and a, it's based on yeah, like so true, it's, uh, true. It, well, it, it's embellished, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but it's based on what kind of happened at the time. So it's based on true story, and mm. it's it's obviously not the real serial killers. It's, oh no! It's, it's all acted they out. use the real, like the names of the yeah, real yeah, but the actual it, it, people in oh, no. and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, no, they don't show the real like interviews. They recreate all the interviews. Okay, right. Yeah, and it, that is a brilliant show. It is really like good, documentary style almost. No, no. just no. drama. Okay. okay, yeah, interesting. Really, um, yeah, kind of crime drama because it's got them solving some yeah. cases during but it's, it. But it's a lot more serial than mm. your average crime drama. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a okay. overarching yeah. narrative mm. more than anything else. Yeah, the main character, I think his name's Holden. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's based off a guy who'd been who was in the FBI um, all the way up until recently. I think he might have passed away, or he may still be alive. I'm not too sure. But interesting. Yeah, it's a it's a brilliant show. I I, I recommend it highly. I will not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> if like uh, it sounds great, but I'm being totally honest, <laughs> it does sound interesting. There's only one season so far. So oh, it's easy to catch up. When did it come out? Um, I think it was just last year. Oh, okay. What yeah. would be really funny is if the go- there's Edgar J. Hoover in it and the actor that plays him is just obviously wearing a dress in every scene. Just <laughs> 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 to ruin the mood of everything. I the tension is cut. <laughs> <laughs> now that I would watch. J.K. Simmons just isn't trying in this job. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes the show. It works so well. There's an actor that can do no wrong with me, J.K. Oh, Simmons. absolutely. Really? I love him so much. He's um. I'm blanking on him to be totally honest. Uh, he's a yellow Eminem. Shame on you. <laughs> I know that. No. Oh, um, I think I know him. He's oh, the I mean, dad. He's been in a lot. Yeah, dad oh, wow. and Juno. He's uh. Um, J. Oh J. yes. Jameson yeah. in oh, yes, Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. I, I but that wasn't that recent. Mean, that was no. That's, 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 that's yeah. yeah it's early 2000s. He was in Whiplash. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Yeah, Whiplash was sensational. Yep. Yeah. He was in um, Burn After Reading, which isn't that new either. Mm. Um, that was last year? No, Burn After Reading is a few years old. Good, oh. f- good few years old now. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, um, he's. He, I think he's the head of the CIA in that too. Yeah, he yeah, tends to gravitate yeah, towards yeah, those roles. That's linked on itself very nicely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that I planned that. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my favourite J.K. Simmons roles, if anyone has seen it, is Oz. Has anyone yes, seen Oz? Yes, oh, Oz is fantastic. Not that, for a just, long time. that is one of the most insane characters I've ever seen. Yes. And he has just such a long, beautiful narrative arc of just being a complete shithead <laughs> for so many years. It's just wonderful to behold. The, the, sh- yeah. the, sh- the shithead arcs are definitely very interesting depending on who you get. Oz, Oz is like a really gritty prison drama. Yeah. It was like in 97, it was like the first of the HBO shows to yeah. get really oh, dark and like okay. serial. Yeah. And there's just, uh, there's the way that the characters interact with each other is something that I've never seen in any other show. Because yeah. it's just right. so murderous and just yeah. like, angry. You, you never know when a character's going to go and... Um, yeah, Vern Schillinger, the character played by J.K. Simmons, is absolutely creepy. He's had the Nazis. Oh, my <laughs> it's, God. It's, it's... Oh, so is he like a neo-Nazi, you know? Yeah. yeah. Sh- shaved head and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that would be great, actually. He, he's very... He, he's chilling in the role, but he has moments of humour as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> which is not based on his racism. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just sort of how characters interact with him and his sort of dark detachment from things it's it's very mm. um it's a very very underrated show oz and i it's been very influential and just as yeah. simon was saying the um dramas that have come from it which is interesting because i mean i really haven't heard of it i don't know how popular it actually is mm. or how remembered it is when i was getting into um film and television mm. in high school sort of around 2003 that was when it was the show that everyone was like, you have to watch really? this because yeah. it was the big artsy creative show. Right. Mm. Has um, Harold Paranu, Paranu, I think is his yeah, surname. Yeah, yeah. He played, he's a, he's, a, he's a very philosophical breaking the fourth wall kind of character. Oh, which I love. I love. In it's, sort of, oh. Yeah, in these like sort of bookending segments of the show. Oh, okay. And, uh, it's, it's definitely worth tracking down oh. if you can get your How many on. seasons of it is there? There's seven seasons and oh, each... No. Yeah, <laughs> no too way. much. Each, way. Season, each season only goes for about six episodes. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that's not as bad. And Probably every, still won't do it though. <laughs> every episode was written by Tom Fontana. It's, uh, it's one of those yeah. shows where yeah, one guy sort of handles the creative direction of 
everything in it. Yeah, not just the show, but he wrote the whole thing. Yeah, wow. he wrote the whole mm. thing. And he wrote it because um, when he was working on Homicide Life on the Street, I think we touched on this yeah. last episode briefly, he got very annoyed with um, NBC's network directives right and decided no i want to go write an authentic show because all hbo really had was um porn and movies <laughs> at the time. yeah sex in the city yeah hey don't diss sex in the city i think it well, might I don't, predate I, sex I, in the city uh, mm-hmm. does it yeah it would it would I think i yeah. thought sex in the city was the 90s oz was the 90s yeah no, no se- yeah no sex in the city was um well, maybe 98 or i was gonna say late 90s early late 90s? 2000s okay it might yeah. be just before then mm-hmm think so yeah i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty yeah i'm pretty sure sex and city was like yeah 98 yeah and it went for god knows how many years mm. i don't know how long I think that is a very addictive show it's not a bad show i, I don't mind sex in the city yeah well, it's i wouldn't go out of my way to watch it no but, but if it was on when it's on it's entertaining yeah so exactly. yeah it's i've watched the second movie that's the movie's the a shit. Yeah, see, that's your that issue. Ever watched. Yeah. That's your issue. Don't watch the movie. Yes. Well, I didn't say that I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I so- didn't, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Simon. What is your opinion of Sex and the City yeah. 2, the movie? It was... So it's set in, uh, I think, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sex in the wrong city. Yeah. <laughs> Sex in the very are wrong city. Are there <laughs> cities in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's just a pretty like upsetting film because it's just all about it's still just all about like upper class white women being stupid and it's like well, what are you even called doing? giving header and Jeddah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. yes wow <laughs> that gets worse the more you think about it <laughs> you give many different ways yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. oh man wow. how many cities can rhyme with with head or header Let's not go into that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not actually asking that. That was a more of a rhetorical question. <laughs> but I think the, I remember the first movie not being as bad. Well, that's good. Like, it was passable. Is that the one where she actually finally marries Mr. Yeah, Pink? it's a, it's actually yeah. the end of the show. The show, yeah. Like canon, kind of logically. Yeah, yeah. So um, his name is Mr. Big. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you do are. you do find out his <laughs> actual oh, I was going to say what would have been okay. great is if it's like a Simpsons reveal <laughs> his name is like Chris Big <laughs> I finally know what my name is <laughs> no it's um uh, basically he wants to be she the whole thing is she's writing you know like for Cosmo I'm pretty yeah. sure it is or is uh, it Vogue no I'm pretty sure it's Cosmo yeah, something like that. I'm probably wrong. No, the New Yorker. Wait, isn't we it? should ask it the changes, editor. Doesn't it? Yeah, either way, she's yeah. she's a writer and she writes about her sex life and whatever. Yeah, she has and a then he doesn't want everyone to know his name whenever she talks about him. So uh, she calls okay, him Mr. Big. So, so much they always sense. say Mr. Big through the show. Because I just watched the second movie and it's like, here's Mr. Big. And I was like, okay, this yeah. is a guy named Mr. Big. Because that's, yeah, that's just who he's known dude. as. Yeah. yeah. And then that you do find sense. out his name and it's like this really pompous, like, it's like Charles Theodore or whatever, the third or some shit like that. Like He's a wanker. Yeah, because he's. Just a wanker. super rich guy. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Come to think of it, they don't work in that show, do they? Other than I think no, they, they do. The one's a lawyer. Um, you know about this much more than I do. I've watched a bit. It's of just it. an you know, the red, the red-headed one is a lawyer. Yeah, right? yeah she's yeah, the yeah, lawyer. She um, carries the writer. Um, one Samantha. of them's a stay-at-home mum, and Samantha's a marketing professional. Okay, Samantha definitely okay. doesn't work. At least it's not shown in... It's, it's the blonde head, like, Samantha. Yeah, the, 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 the older yeah. woman, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, she's a... Mar- no, they show her working. She's sure? a, yeah, she's like okay. a PR agent or a marketing agent. Okay, or something right. Like that, along those lines. Right. They just yeah. spend way too much time drinking cocktails. Yeah. Like, yeah that's an what unrealistic I mean, like, any yeah. show... How much free gonna... time you have as a professional in Manhattan. <laughs> well, yeah, because you only, you only see them, yet yeah, drinking in the middle of the day. <laughs> or, or, um, or having sex at night. Uh, or, or having sex. Or, so, so they're limousine drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or just, like, coming home from what I guess where you presume work yeah. but yeah they're just, they're, they're, <laughs> oh, I'm so tired time to have sex <laughs> but they don't look tired <laughs> they drink two cocktails <laughs> they're, they're all wearing their jackets and their handbags and everything and it's like oh yep I've just been out in the city and it's like do you fucking work you have jobs but do you fucking work <laughs> it's, it's the, um, the prototype for the real housewives spin off documentaries just um don't worry, drink cocktails. Mm. But yeah, this, I guess not. It's funny in my head. <laughs> but Mr. Big's name is actually funny John James head. Preston. Oh, for fuck's okay. sake. Yeah. Preston. Uh, the Preston, really. Yeah, that's what's that, opposite. That, that's what's opposite, <laughs> exactly. Um, no. like, all, like all Prestons, I invented the steam pump. <laughs> Did a, did a pre- <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Every Preston in history has invented the steam pump. That, where does that come from? <laughs> from Preston. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Interesting. What the hell's in your head? <laughs> <laughs> 
maybe I need to come and cut. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think so. No, it, it Sex in the City's good. It's like I said, it's one of those shows where. Yeah, you don't really go out of your way to watch it, but if it's on, yeah, it's, 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 it's almost it's almost timeless. Yeah, I feel like it's funnier now what? than when it was when it came out. What's What's the point me, of this show? It's in the title. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it's, it, it's it's for, I don't want to say middle-aged, but like early 30s? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's just basically working women doing rich working women. Living doing in rich New York. Rich working women things. Well, basically. they're not even that rich. Mm. They're like, they're upper class. Yeah, they're, they're not, not that rich. rich. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're pretty rich though. But, but, yeah. but they've got apartments. <laughs> They're not like yeah, okay. The definition anything. of know, like rich in New York is you own an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jeez. I don't know the the apartment climate in New York. Can you? Yeah, but just think about it. Can you imagine how much an apartment would be? In no, New but York? when when you say rich, I yeah, I assume mansions and everything like yeah. that. And it's like yeah, but they they earn a sizable amount of money. But yeah, really, it's just their romantic lives mm. and all the substantial failures it goes through mm. and then I think in the last couple seasons it's kind of good yeah Samantha's on her seventh cosmopolitan she's like <laughs> why do I have a problem retaining relationships <laughs> I'm pretty sure that has actually happened several times <laughs> yeah, on probably, the show yeah. she is the train wreck of the group keeping on the HBO train That's has anyone seen segue. Veep? no what yes is Veep? Of, um, it's based on the thick of it which is an English um, like political kind of comedy no it's a idea. cross, so it, not a crossover. I mean, there's British comedy writers on it. Uh, yeah, Armando I Iannucci, who wrote the English one and created the English one, actually does write on and, show. Yeah, and I know works on Veep. It's got some peep show writers too, I believe. Oh, that'd be good, actually. Mm. And I know it's got Tony Hale as an actor on it, who I okay. adored in Arrested Development. Yep. Yeah, fair. Mm. Didn't think Arrested, sorry, didn't Arrested Development get renewed for another season it did they're, recently? they're shooting another season yeah. and they are recutting the fourth season which is so yeah, good that's awesome because they really like they did something it was interesting because they they said okay we're going to come back on netflix after being a network show so we're going to try to like shake it up a little bit and do something different by following one character out of like an ensemble yeah uh each episode and then have all of those episodes be happening simultaneously. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's fantastic. It was that was an interesting idea because it kind of made everything like you, you have to rewatch it to figure out exactly where yeah. everything crosses over. But the problem was, in each of these episodes, they would always come back to the same couple of scenes. Yeah. And uh, so you had these scenes that you've seen scene like before. seven or yeah. nine times throughout the show. And by the end, by, end, by the end of the season, I did not want to ever watch it again. Yeah. Uh, Even it, though I love the show. Yeah, it doesn't have the same um, replayability. And it it did allow for some jokes to build, you know, the scenes where it, you think it's just two characters talking, but it turns out that there's three or four yeah, or five. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, everyone's in the scene to some extent. Mm-hmm. But it's a little a bit of a head chuckle, like, ha, ha, ha. And then it's not like a <laughs> yeah. laugh. Yeah. Like a, yeah. A, an Arrested Development would really give you. Mm, I'm Preston. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want that from your um, Arrested Development. And it, would, it was... Um, I th- it had its moments. It was it was it was sharply written, mm. but it is. It's considered the weakest of the four seasons for a reason. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that easily. Yeah, I've never really watched. I've watched like bits and pieces, but I never got into Arrested. Me Island. neither. But I can't really say why because yeah. it's got all of the. For me, it's got all the boxes mm. ticked for mm. why I would enjoy it. Yeah, I have a theory that it's because. I think this show has been emulated and absorbed by other comedies so much mm. because it was quite innovative back in 2003 when it first came out that it, um, it manages, it, it's become, you, you don't appreciate the, the manic energy of it as mm. much because you're used to it and you mm-hmm. see it in other comedies. Mm. Um, Modern Family takes so much yeah. from it, you mm-hmm. can see. And um, a lot of the um, non-laugh track comedies... Mm. borrow from it I mean it wasn't the first Freaks and Geeks um, no there were, heaps, there were heaps before Scrubs it Scrubs came out before it yeah Scrubs yeah. 2001 I think 2001 yes. 2001 2001 yeah, 2001, yeah. Um, and yeah. then it kind of went alongside for a little bit yeah mm. and but it was the first to have that very sort of um, that ensemble sort of the plots are just so complicated there's so many jokes a minute yeah but 
I think it's it, it's hard. It might be hard to go back and appreciate mm. how mm. innovative it was at the time. So how are they recutting that fourth season? What are they actually doing to it? They're making it linear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I think that's gonna. How, how are they help. gonna do that? I have no idea, but <laughs> it, it helps. I imagine being the people who actually uh, recorded the yeah. show, they might have yeah. stuff on the cutting room yeah. floor yeah. that would help piece things together. So when you, when you say recut. Do you actually mean that it's going to re-edit yeah. all of the footage? So they're yeah. not going to record any new footage. Not that one. Not for the not I for that season. Know. I mean, maybe they would if they're also doing the fifth season. Yeah, possibly because a big problem with the fourth season was that they because the actors had such busy schedules, it was yeah. hard to get them all together for the right for the big as the rest of development is known for its big ensemble scenes and yeah, that sort yeah. of thing. So to if they get them all together, they might have sort of like, oh, let's film this and we'll put that in mm. this episode. And mm. When did season four come out? Two, uh, 2013. So will there be a weird kind of... Um, oh, they could probably yeah. get away with it. You reckon? Mm. Yeah. But they probably just won't. They'll, they probably, like Simon said, they probably have so much in the cutting room yeah. floor that they'll just bodge it together like that. Yeah. And then what's going to happen to the current fourth season? Are they just going to... Yeah, how's that? Just gonna remove it? It'll <laughs> probably remain the same. I mm. think they'll probably keep it up for... So it would have, yeah, but I'm, sake. I'm wondering, yeah, sake, I'm yeah. wondering how that would just go in like, you know, in terms of selling, you know, DVDs and putting it on Netflix or everything else. Would it be like season four and then season four redux? I say so. It, yeah, would, be, it, it would be really interesting though if they yeah. just like made the new fourth season canon and then mm, just yeah. didn't put the old one in because just, it just didn't yeah. work. I've never heard of a show to do that. Yeah. I don't know if there has been a show. Um, I know I, Seinfeld reshot some a few episodes yeah so you you know um frank stanza mm. there was an original actor before um oh. jerry stiller yeah and if you go on the dvds they still have those episodes so they oh. reshot it and put jerry stiller in it yeah and then um whenever you watch a syndicated it's all the jerry stiller ones right um but on the dvds it has the original guy who played him it's only like one or two episodes yeah, yeah. okay but they're still out there. Yeah, but they're still, still you can still get them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's interesting. But that, yeah, so it's easier for a couple episodes. Yeah, but exactly. For a whole, but for a whole, whole season, season is a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just so. It's such a bizarre des- decision to make. Yeah, I guess it speaks to like how badly that decision went. If that the whole team is going back and yeah. recutting well, an entire season, I mean, season. it could be seen as not. It could be seen as fruitless because the season's done. People have seen it. Start afresh with season five. Yeah. You know, the linear writing, mm. all the cast in the same place. Hopefully it can recapture the magic. But I guess it, it, in a way it's it shows that they appreciate the fandom around it to go back and put that much effort in yeah. True. to mm. create something that fans can retroactively enjoy. Because yeah. just from what you were saying before about just kind of the whole idea of that fourth season, it sounded really like I'd probably watch that just as a concept. Yeah, it is it's an interesting It's really concept. interesting. Mm. But yeah, it obviously has some... Uh, pretty big flaws in it mm-hmm. yeah. I guess that yeah in comedy a lot of it I do believe was fan expectation okay. I think it had so much pressure on it to perform mm. that when it wasn't as hilarious as the first three seasons mm. it disappoints so the first three seasons came out what 2003 to five, four, to five and then there was the big gap and then it got Netflix picked it up, Netflix picked yeah, it up yeah. for yeah. season four okay right I mean, does that... I mean, I, I get there's a big following for that show. But is it just kind of run its course, do you think? Is there is there a story left to Do you know what, tell? though? I will say because the original series came out during, like, the American housing crisis. And a lot of the comedy came from the fact that they are, like, a, a, like a real yeah. estate family. <laughs> and that their entire, like, livelihood was crashing mm. down around them. And by the time... Uh, I, I think it was I think it was 2015 that the new one came out. The new season. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know. It just... None of that was relevant anymore. And it just... Mm. I don't know. I think it was 13. But But they they changed professions or something by that point. Because I've watched a few... Don't they? Uh, they No. They they, they develop like... They work for different companies. Yeah. Yeah. They're all roughly the same character. Ah, It's not... It's not as dependent on... Sort of... Their specific job kind of Mm. thing. But... No, that's a good point actually. And the humour was... Very... George Bush's president kind of nice. based yeah, yeah, yeah. things, but topical humor. Yeah, that being said, the show was cancelled very much prematurely in a similar way to 
Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah. Now by yes. Fox, they didn't realize what they had. They didn't promote it effectively. Yeah. It takes people a lot to jump in, mm. and through DVD, it achieved a lot of um, a lot of its following. But it yeah. was you know too late. The shows off the air. Yeah. So it has been. It was revived by fans. This is back back before Netflix was doing that with everything. This is mm. one of the first things that it brought back from the dead, sort of thing. Okay. And that left everyone's. It wasn't the the wish fulfillment. So it's kind of like if this season disappoints, maybe it'll be done. It's done. Like, yeah, right, it's like yeah. yeah, you can't do it again. But That's... if it kills, then maybe it's. Yeah, it's kind of like okay. what we were talking about before with Roseanne, right? The same sort of concept. Roseanne was what the nine eighties, nineties, no, it was nineties, nineties. Yeah. yeah. So they've rebooted it now, and mm. it's like everything it was about then. Does it still completely apply now? Not really. That's yeah. why so I've who's been... watching it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anyone is because at least my I've only seen a couple episodes of Roseanne, but my understanding of it is that it's one of those. Um, shows where it's yeah middle class mm. middle America yeah uh, type of families mm. going through I don't even know what the hell they're going doing, it's just honest. everyday struggles yeah, every yeah. business I and, voted for Trump and yeah. now my health care's gone <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were talking about Roseanne off the air by the way yeah. listeners just in case you're a bit confused <laughs> you haven't gone into a time limit <laughs> yet unfortunately not no yeah so I guess. Maybe that was the big issue with Roseanne, was that, at least from my understanding, there wasn't really necessarily a big driving force. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's like Fuller House. Yeah, exactly. As well, at the same time. Why did that come back? (laughs) Because... (laughs) What's his name needed to work? (laughs) 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 Is it John Stamos? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the thing about rebooting those kinds of shows is that you don't really need to latch onto anything specifically. I don't think the people who are watching it are watching it for the same reasons you would watch something like Arrested Development. True. That's true. It's, yeah, it's it's a mix it's nostalgia. of it's nostalgia, but it's even just rose colored glasses. That too. Yeah. Like, if you go back to the proper Roseanne these days, mm. I wouldn't say it holds up. There's a lot of shows that don't hold up. There's a rare few mm. um, sitcoms of that yeah. day do. I mean, Cheers holds up. Even I, I, I even struggle with Cheers a little bit. Yeah, I'm not a big Cheers fan in general, yeah. but I still think it kind of holds up. It, it holds up, up better than a lot of the other ones. Oh, easily. And yeah. then, I mean, like, Friends is timeless. Seinfeld. Yeah. I feel like it's timeless as well. Uh, it's very based in the 90s, but a lot of the problems they, they have are still timeless. Well, they're, they're, they're problems with people. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Thing. That's yeah. why it's timeless. Yeah. But but there are also, there's plenty of people who um, just don't like Seinfeld. Yeah, oh yeah. And it's, it's definitely one of those types of shows. Um, but Friends, you know, no one ever says something bad about Friends, or at least rarely. Mm, I'm not a big fan of Friends. Like, but it'll I'll always watch just, it, but... But I'm, it's always just there, right? Yeah, it's yeah. there. Jennifer I'm, Aniston doesn't return my email. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say Friends is a, a fantastic show, but it definitely has kind of just made its its place. Yeah, yeah. In, in pop, pop culture, culture, yeah. Yeah. Um, Frasier, I think, holds up very well mm. I don't actually think it's relevant to this day oh it's not relevant <laughs> absolutely no. not but it holds still, up but it's not relevant but it's still funny yeah um, you know what I love Becca oh my god right. Becca speaking of um, Ted, yeah. back onto Ted dancing again yeah I just, I just oh, remember that Becca. Becca Becca was amazing I remember watching Becca only recently actually I think it was on TV mm. I got really depressed from it he's just a he's, sad he, human he, being yeah he, he is and that's that's my view of Ted dancing as, <laughs> as Simon says when his hair turns white he's not he, actually he acting he comes out yeah. <laughs> he, gets, like, he gets lighter <laughs> like, like, Ted get off the get off the set like no no just film film <laughs> and that's the show Ted dancing <laughs> Walking sadly, <laughs> pretending to be a dentist. <laughs> is he a dentist? No, he's a GP. I mean. yeah, yeah, he's a GP. He's just a GP. Yeah. But it is like I think of dentists because they're sadder. <laughs> I, have a, I, I have a question, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember Becca. There's so he's a GP, and yep. then there is the blind black guy, and yep. then the the random white guy who I, like seems like he's in the mob, but he's not in the mob. The, the, um, the Italian Oh, he's American. just like a weird who, dealer. Who, yeah. who were they? <laughs> there were friends of his that he made like at the diner that he hangs out. <laughs> yeah. That's right. The so, blind guy, yeah. I think at one point owns like a little stall in it. He does, Selling like yeah. magazines and stuff. It, it seems, and the other guy just hangs out there. It seems yeah. weird to me to have a show where the two set pieces are a GP's office and a diner <laughs> and then having those things so like amazingly well, wrapped yeah. together. Oh, in his house. You'd, I think you'd, There's a lot of stuff. I, lot I, of I don't remember his too. house at all. It's not, it's not as prevalent, but it, there, there, there is stuff there. There's a couple episodes that focus, well, it's, yeah, his apartment technically, but there's, um, he has a lot of interactions with the people in his building. Yeah. Um, 
in the hallways and things like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it's all like problems. And, yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it's all of those shows have those bloody issues with mm. well, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, it, all the people in the building having just like neighbor problems. Yeah, neighbor problem yeah. stuff and having committees and shit like that. Yeah. Um, no, my, I I think it's a depressing show to be honest. My yeah. spec script is actually called Problems in Hallways, and it's about <laughs> people having problems in hallways <laughs> and meeting that, up to talk about that's very just e- different hallways. Yeah. Each time it's a different color. <laughs> That's the only change. <laughs> this hallway's bright yellow. <laughs> Reminds me of how happy I'm not. Just hang, just hang like one painting. Pain. <laughs> These hallways are bright yellow. It's a shit hallway colour. Hey, my childhood um, room was bright yellow. I feel wow. sorry for you. I loved it. I, really? Yellow's my favourite colour now. Okay, yeah. there you go. Mine was like a, a, a cream white <laughs> White colour. Just nice and plain. Just nice and plain. Really plain. Like, distract, <laughs> describes my parents very well. <laughs> Hopefully they don't listen. I don't think they do. <laughs> Mine had demons painted on the walls. <laughs> Beautiful. No, no. I, I did those to my to my walls. <laughs> I did the paintings. No, I was just raised in a cult. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to bring Satan out through me. Did it work? <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Anyway, yeah, Beck is interesting. Yeah, um, you forget about it a lot more compared yeah. to those other shows. Yeah, definitely. But mm. um, I think I, I remember it very vividly from my time watching network television as a child, and Becca mm. was advertised all the time. Yeah, <laughs> this week on Becca. Oh, I'm on Becca. <laughs> Do you, does anyone remember Just Shoot Me? Oh, Just Shoot oh, Me. Oh yeah, pretty great I too. remember that. I I, I I don't think it holds up. No, as much. I was gonna say I didn't get it as a kid, but mm. these days I think it's pretty damn funny. Yeah, um, the titles especially appropriate <laughs> to our times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe that's why it doesn't air. That's a show that doesn't depress me, but like, no, I'm it, not saying it's, it's depressing. No, no, I'm saying, but it is, yeah. it is a little bit more sad as well to watch. I because there's a lot yeah. there's a, like the photographer in it. He's like super depressed through the whole show, isn't? Oh it? yeah, that, that's yeah. kind of the whole joke of it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It. it it just seems a lot more light-hearted to me. It, I, I actually, say, yeah, you're, no, you're right. I want to say it's mostly the setting mm. compared to Becca, which is a GP's office, which yeah. is never a fun place to be. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just not a happy environment. Whereas Just Shoot Me, it's an advertising yeah. firm or something, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to throw out my spec script for the happy GP. <laughs> <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> um, but yeah. The, yeah. No, we're we're going to talk about Veep. <laughs> yeah, that's never right. To wow. <laughs> so what the fuck is Veep? I've never heard of it. So it it's, like Julia Louis, Lu- it's Julia Louise Dreyfus. Okay. So you would like it because you like Seinfeld. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so she's doesn't mean I like her. <laughs> you, well, you're but wrong. do you not <laughs> like her? <laughs> ben, she's uh, she's probably the weakest for me personally. For the, she's won. I think it's the Emmy for best. Um, is it comedy like actress yeah, or comedy? I think she's she did it sixty three times now. Yeah, exactly. But for, I think it's four or five years in a row now for yeah. Veep. It was for oh for Veep. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. She won it for Seinfeld once. I'm pretty sure. The title comes from Vice President. Yeah. Oh, she plays the vice okay. president okay. pretty much, and it's just like the whole political shenanigans, basically. Okay, that makes a lot yeah. more sense. The title just sounds awful. Yeah, because they could. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it sounds just, like Brum's dying. A bit. It, it sounds, <laughs> the, it sounds the, like some weird millennial app. <laughs> Need yeah. singles in your area. Yeah. Use V. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what the hell is this shit? It's too, it's too modern. Is it an old show or is it? No, it's, it's relatively new. It's still, it's, it's still, still airing. Last, I think. I think it's okay. on its last season. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's I think this season. next season is its last season. I think it's six seasons it's now, six or seven. That's right. Right. I, think I think the feel. seventh one is coming up. Yeah, so uh, yeah, something that like that. Right. What do you think is a good runtime for most sitcoms in terms of number of seasons? It depends. Because you've got the, the, the lengthy ones, which I think Friends was 10. Yeah. The Simpsons is an animated sitcom. And, and it, it only goes up to 8 seasons. Yeah, it only goes up to 10. That's what I was going to say. It only goes to 10 seasons, because I think those last two aren't that bad. No, they're, mm-hmm. they're a bit iffy. But you, bit you, get, iffy. you get... You see it slipping. Yeah. 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 Season 3 to 8 are the... The pinnacle. The golden... Yeah. Era. See, yeah, then yeah. you've got this silver sort of corona. Like all yeah. right stuff. Yeah. 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 And the... then it's just down down to the trash. Yeah, down to... <laughs> um, and now, now they've become Fox. <laughs> the <new laughs> well, not, not anymore, have they? Or is, did Fox no, no, get rid of them? No, they're still on Fox. Fox. Oh, okay. It's not changed. It's it's not not Fox. Thought... They're just echoing the views of Fox News now. Yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, true. I don't know. 
I, they, think, I think they are. <laughs> I think they very clearly are. Mm. But back to back to Veep. I'll let you talk more about that because that does sound interesting. Yeah, no, it's it's brilliant. The whole the whole scenarios that they get into are brilliant. Is it like what type of comedy would you say? Um, not laugh track or anything. What would you or? say? No, it's not laugh track. Yeah. What, what would you say, Simon? I'm trying to think of the sort of something that kind of. It, it's exactly the same as the thick of it. But if you haven't seen the thick of it, you, yeah, you don't know. It's hard to yeah. it's hard to identify exactly mm. what's going on. Just watch it. Yeah, that's it's not good. helpful. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch it. So the thick of it oh. has, uh, just as a reference, has Peter Capaldi in it, right? Oh, okay. So Peter Capaldi, you know, he's played Doctor yeah, yeah, Who, yeah. and the whole time, just I'm talking about thick of it because it is the same show, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it relates exactly to to Veep. So his okay. character is kind of a bit more like Selena, who oh. uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus plays in Veep. Yeah. Okay. Not they're not the same kind of position but same sort of attitude where it's just yes. super sweary. So every time I watch Peter Capaldi as Doctor Who, I just imagine off screen, he's just swearing his fucking head off. <laughs> see, whenever I see Peter Capaldi, I remember him in Skins more so than anything else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he wasn't Skins. His last name makes me hungry. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it makes me think of Cabanossi or something. <laughs> <laughs> just going to say, it makes me think of pizza. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Close, close to Capricho's. I get I, not really <laughs> Peter really. Pizza <laughs> I yeah I don't know it sounds good yeah, I yeah. is is this not Netflix or anything is it no I no don't think so. no because it's HBO oh true yeah. Yeah, god damn mind. Australia yeah I no, just not, not Australia just HBO I would HBO. get HBO would if it was available, it's available here oh my god can't. yes because if we want to get HBO in Australia we have Fox to stuff. subscribe to Fox and then get all of the things underneath HBO yeah. that you need yeah. to get yeah oh you can get it um, my parents have the Foxtel like play app thing uh-huh. and you get it, you mm. can get it with that and you, you don't have to buy all those other packages that's good. Yeah, so I, I just log into that app and watch HBO there. <laughs> Can you buy the channel, like, individually? So you just I, have HBO? No, it's a package, but, okay. but it's like... At the very least, you don't have to buy all these other packages to get to it. Okay, Like, cool. you can just get that. But circling back, I think it's time to do uh, Bunker Battle. So cool. it's going to be some HBO shows because we've been talking about HBO yes. a lot. Oh. Let's be careful because whatever gets in the I bunker will get so- cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I have this a feeling not too much, heartbreak not too much time. of a worry but yeah so for the bunker battle what we do is we look at pieces of media we decide who should be stored in the bunker for all time for when the world is destroyed by Trump this week we're going Simpsons. to debate <laughs> <laughs> yeah not North Korea anymore because apparently they're all good <laughs> they seem to be doing alright this week we're going to debate between Game of Thrones and it. Westworld I knew it I fucking knew it so, mine's easy. Who wants to start? And I've seen bits of both. That's a fucking miracle. I know. I can actually get I mean, you haven't watched both. all of both. I don't <laughs> need to, though. I'm not going to. <laughs> no, I'm going to watch the rest of Westworld. Mm. My pick is Westworld, obviously. Yeah, um, no, I didn't, I'm not surprised. Yeah, no. I, I've watched the... Okay, I watched the first season of Game of Thrones back when it came out. And I thought, that was cool. And then I just never felt inclined to watch it again. I don't really... Wow. Yeah, no, sorry if that offends you. Wow. I don't I don't know. Like it just it didn't la- I didn't latch onto it that much. I can't really specify why. Um like I haven't read any of the books or anything like that. So no, I, I don't yeah, I don't have that prior mm. uh, engagement with that world. Um I think it just I, I I love a lot of fantasy stuff, but I prefer more higher fantasy oh, this than is, that. Yeah, this is like it's not high fantasy because it doesn't have your magic and all. Oh, it does have magic. It has, it has yeah. dragons, but they're very... Yeah. It's very background. It's very minimal they're, magic. They're your grandmother's dragons. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's purely background. Which I guess, I think in, when, in the first season, that kind of just annoyed me. It's kind like, of... It's, a, it, the, it's always been ramping up to yeah. there being like more high magic, kind yeah. of high fantasy magic stuff. Mm. Like towards this last season, there's been oh, yeah. a lot more of it in it. It's kind of been a very slow build on that sort of mm. aspect, and it's always kind of in the background, yeah. like doing things and that you don't know about. Yeah, I guess with that slow build style, it just I, I didn't get enough little bits and pieces that would, you know, make me want to continue to watch the show. Mm. A lot of the characters I was kind of meh on, mm. except for Sean Bean's character, and then he gets <laughs> straight up. Um, 
And yeah, I didn't watch it. I just have not felt inclined to watch it. And now I know a lot of the spoilers because yeah. it's just everyone talks yeah. about it. And yeah. so it's, yeah, I can't really go back to it. Or mm. I don't really want to. Mm. Westworld, on the other hand, um, I I watched it, bits of it. I started watching it on a plane because mm. it was one of those shows that was on there. I got to uh, not many episodes, th- three or four. But um, that was definitely a show that engaged a lot of my senses in terms of tv i think it just dealt with a lot of issues that i find really interesting it had a lot of discussions about ai Mm. um humanity and just the overall concept was is just absolutely fascinating to me Mm. um and i feel like it's even i know it's sci-fi fantasy technically but i feel like it's a world that could actually happen yeah, definitely. It could, yeah, not in any time soon. Don't ruin my chances of getting with Daenerys. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but, but just, yeah, those those facets of it um, are incredibly engaging. The Western, uh, the Wild West locations of it, mm. uh, I haven't seen in TV for a fair while. Yeah. That's been this popular. Yeah. Um, and then the juxtaposition of that with the sci-fi AI mm. um and seeing those two worlds just collide together, I think is just really interesting. And it keeps your senses just continuously getting bombarded. And the music's phenomenal. Oh, um, the, the soundtrack it's sensational. is amazing. It's, it's brilliant. I still love the first episode. It, um, is it Black Magic Woman? I think so. That plays in the shootout? Um, is it Paint It Black? Oh, Paint It Black. Paint It Black, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's... Which is song. amazing. It's it, probably my favourite song that they used right? yeah that, that yeah. and that's in its first episode yeah and that's what I think that was the big difference between me and well, between Game of Thrones and Westworld is that with a lot of these shows I when someone says to me oh it gets good at the third season I'm not going to watch it because you got to get through two seasons of crap to go through that yeah. if it can get you from the very start mm. then I'm in yeah. Westworld was able to do that in Game of Thrones for anyone that hasn't seen Westworld also all of the songs are all done on a piano so they're all yeah. piano covers. Yeah. So this is Paint It Black as a piano cover, which is just, a, it's beautiful. And it gets played during um, a shootout. Yeah. Essentially, this woman's just got a massive shotgun mm. and is just going te- going ham on this town. Mm. And it's just phenomenal to watch. Mm. Um, I'm easily picking Westworld. <laughs> all right. Simon, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Look, I mean, I love Game of Thrones. I think it is like a high mark of aesthetic achievement. Mm. It's had a lot of really good seasons. Mm. What it was able to do at the end of season one, the end of season three, Mm. those sort of things by building up characters and like just smashing them together like a child with with dolls is amazing. But, and I've read the books. I'm a massive fan of the whole series. Um, But I am so sick of being disappointed. Oh, this last season was... It was good, but... I just... Yeah. Like, just the choices that that Dan Weiss and D... Or it's, what are their names? It's D.B. Weiss and David Benioff. David Benioff. I think. Yep. Yeah. That sounds yeah. right. That yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Some of the choices they've made in the last couple of seasons when they kind of didn't have a safety net mm. just drive me insane. Yeah. Some of the more recent characterizations of... of some of the later characters have driven me insane. The well, Sand the, Snakes. Who? Yeah, just Dawn? The Sand Snakes were, were bad. Dawn was bad. Yeah. Oh, I was so disappointed in Dawn also. Don't worry. Yeah. Because they're, they're some of my favourite parts of the books. And they just butchered them. Other than Oberon. Oberon was perfect. Oberon was great. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and on the other hand, I'm also kind of a little bit disappointed in George R. R. Martin recently. Because yeah. I'm just That's losing... Fair. I'm losing interest in the yeah. series. You can't take that long. Yeah. And keep your fan <laughs> base. Dead. Yeah. Dead. Especially since he's releasing another like world book. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like fantasy. Make like, them up. For like, God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't want to sound. Dragon's attack. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I don't want to sound like a super entitled fan, but like, there's a point where I just can't devote that much energy to it over mm. like that period of yeah. time. Because by the time Winds of Winter come, comes out. I'm I'm not gonna know. What I will the fuck have was going forgotten. On yeah, so much. And and to like, I read them all in a row up till Dance of Dragons because I only read them a few years ago. So you know, when you're doing that, y- yeah. you you're engaged the whole way through. But now it's like, how long? Yeah, <laughs> I think eight, eight years now. I'm not gonna have any clue. No. And at some point, 
you the longer you take the payoff needs to be bigger oh yeah yeah better. absolutely and mm. it's <laughs> do, do you think it's, it's at a point where that expectation can't be met i mean that the show's still going i know so we're still I'm, gonna get it's yeah. going back that's with the books but with the show like we're gonna get the payoff with the show even though mm. this last season hasn't been that great i mean it was all right and Is there were all... some awesome moments mm. but some of the like simon said some of the choices were not great some of the things they did were great like that trip beyond the wall was just stupid yeah. Every aspect of it was yeah. just like poorly planned. Never go over the walls. No, you fucking idiot. The, the problem with it was... Haven't you ever seen problems in the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> Never go through the wall. The problem with it was it just felt like they were there for like two hours and the, the, the um, what's his name ran back to the wall. The, the bird got to... The raven got to Daenerys. No so sense. Daenerys showed up. But it, in, in retrospect, it's like if you're watching on TV, say, oh, actually, no. Okay. Just editing wise, they could have fixed it, I reckon, by making it seem like because they were supposed to have time, been there for like two weeks or something. Yeah, yeah, like just sitting there waiting. Mm. They, they also could have a terrible it. plan because yeah, of also, the people who were <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. You don't want those people um, in, in an icy tundra surrounded by undead things for yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That makes for no sense. Yeah. <laughs> Send just a bunch of random people yeah. to go and do whatever that the hell they wanted to do. I mean, it was an awesome team up. But it was just a shit. It made no sense. It was like, let's just do like a Fast and Furious movie in the middle of this fantasy series. Yeah, Why yeah. not? Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, Westworld is a new show. It's kind of hard to judge it on the same mm. level. That's as what I was going to suggest. But it, if it gets to season eight and it sucks, yeah. <laughs> you're going to regret putting it in the bunker. That's true. Okay, but that's very true. You know what? It hasn't disappointed me. It's amazing. Every, I, I just, I'm mm. glued to the screen every second mm. so i'm gonna choose westworld uh, i so thought you'd pick game of thrones nope. wow mm. there you go mm. so matt what, what are you thinking neither is a particularly um important show to me to be honest um that's an odd way of saying that um I, I've no seen, i know what you mean i've yeah. seen yeah. season one of game of thrones and i'm very similar to ben i enjoyed it it didn't spur me into watching season two yeah um westworld i've seen snippets of and i've enjoyed it but it also hasn't like grabbed me in a way that i'm like i've got it got to watch this show got to watch Mm. this show they're both shows that i think i would be better off for watching and i will eventually probably watch more of (laughs) (laughs) um full stop my 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 housemate is currently watching Game, uh, game of thrones and the things I've seen in it, they, they, they hold my attention a lot more in the later seasons, I mm-hmm. find. Um, he's up to... I've seen bits of season six, and now he's up to season seven. Um, I've managed to avoid spoilers for it all. I don't know how. Did, yeah. Wow. I'm about to say, that's I'd, a miracle. I just, that is amazing. I just... I don't know. I just don't listen to people when they talk, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm too busy thinking of new problems in the hallway. Um, <laughs> there can't be that many. Get a new hallway if that's the case. I've got 99 problems in the hallway. Um, I... I'm going to go with Game of Thrones... Ooh. Just because I think that it's, even though it's not my sort of fantasy, it's got the sort of interwoven plot that I can kind of, you know, the Machiavellian scheming yeah. and that sort of thing that I can really sort of mm. sink my teeth into. I think if I had to watch one right now, I'd probably choose, actually, probably Westworld, given the mood I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Game of Thrones, I think. And it builds drama and tension for Nick's pick as to whether yeah, or not something is going to tie it. Yeah. Um, this one is really, really hard for me because well, I you, love both shows. I was going to say, so you and Simon have probably seen the most out of both. Yeah, because yeah, you've I've watched all yeah, I, so I, I, Same, I've watched yeah. all of that as well. And I've, I've seen both. more than Matt for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prick. That's a miracle. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, like... Like I was saying with Simon, I've read the books as well. Um, Mm. I started watching the show by the time the third season had come out, so I've been watching it since about that point. Would you Um, say that was like the... Sorry to interrupt. No, sorry. Was that the peak three and four? Um, With the Red Wedding and everything? Because to me it seemed like that's when it was at its biggest in terms of people... Yeah, I I, I don't know. I think People talking about it definitely has just increased over time. 
Um, probably, right. I reckon that season six is probably where it was at. Oh, okay. It's like real okay. peak of people talking about it, yeah. I feel like. I, I would say that the quality started to drop in season five and then yeah. a bit more dramatically in, in season, season six seven, and then yeah. seven just was inconsistent. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because like we're saying, there was, there was good bits. There was yeah. good bits. But and there we, was we, some more, not bad, but just disappointing Bits. Frustrating, yeah, and frustrating. Yeah, what? you you it, it moved too fast. You get so much money to write this show, mm. just sit down and think they about really, it. They really, do yeah. they? <laughs> yeah. they get paid so much. So yeah, this one's really really <laughs> tough for me because I really do love Westworld. Like you, like mm. one of the best parts of the show is the soundtrack. I, yeah. I wait, I wait, I watch this with my partner, and we wait out to hear what the song of the week of the week's gonna be that so, they that they cover. Like also last week, head. last week was Kanye. Really? Was run away. It was amazing. I need to watch this new season. Yeah. Oh was, my goodness. It was awesome. Oh, like, so good. I heard that first note and I knew what it was straight away. Wow. And it was amazing. So, that, and it, it does hold a lot of attention, but I think I'm going to probably still have to go with Game of Thrones. Damn it. Because it's just something of like, I've, I've been with longer, like going on that, uh, I've been with it longer. And it's like, I, I have an original US copy hardback of um, Clash uh, Clash of Kings, yep. yeah, um, which I got signed um, by oh, George man. when he was here at Supernova one year. So Wow, um, if you did not pick Game of Thrones, you'd yeah, be a yeah, massive yeah. <laughs> so I have to I have to go with Game of Thrones, even though I do, I'm on the same kind of level of assignment. Yeah. I do have some disappointments with the last season. They, yeah. So that means it's that's tie, two for Westworld and two for Game yeah, of Thrones. So I I have an, an idea of how to break the tie. Oh, okay. We're, we're going to be me and Ben um, are going to be playing D and D after this, and I have my D twenty here. Oh shit! Do you want to do it now? And I want to roll a D twenty, and now we need to decide what's going to be under ten and what's going to be over ten. See, I mean, all I was going to say is because our last tie, which was. <laughs> No, Gremlins and Goonies was nothing. fucking terrible mm. and we didn't put either of them yeah in but I think this is better because something goes in and oh, we get to roll a d20 which I is was going to suggest both going in oh you want to go you want to go with both going nah <laughs> no, I hate to you want to chop something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just rely on R and That's like, what I like about this. This is like Noah's Ark, but it just makes the animals fight. <laughs> I don't think they're fighting. <laughs> like I know it. I know their their only connection really is HBO. I'm surprised that you're the one debating saying that because you want both. Because even I, because Game of Th- even even though it's not my thing, mm. I know how much of an impact Game of Thrones mm. has. On not even just media, but the world as a whole, mm. really. True. It, it is just, it is so massive. Westworld definitely isn't as big. It's my personal pick, mm. but it's definitely not as big. And I, it feels just wrong for me to not um, recognize that. Mm. I think the bunker battles need to have stakes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, yep. right. We'll do the so 20. So we're going to do the, the D20. So All right, here we go. Can I, um, I, I'm rolling it. I know you're rolling it. I'm just going to get out. <laughs> Let's um, go one, one. One to ten for Westworld. Well, I'm your DM. So <laughs> it's my <laughs> ruling. Um, Sorry, I forgot to say, Simon is also in dude. <laughs> yeah, Nate. And Matt, and Matt misses out because he's an adult. I'm in the hallway. <laughs> having my problems. I will say... All right, we'll, we'll... See, okay. So if you go like above and below ten, it implies one's worse than the other. So I'll say... Even numbers Westworld, mm. odd numbers Game of Thrones. Okay, I like okay. it. That I like. All right, one let's, roll. Let's do it. Just one roll. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. And it is eleven. 11. Game of Thrones. Thrones. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Foiled by your own sword of destiny. <laughs> I was just hoping it to be a twenty, so it could be Westworld. Yeah. Damn it. Fuck. Just now crit, I'm angry. crit on Westworld. Yeah. Fuck. Now I'm angry. Uh, and we're gonna leave it on Ben being angry. Fuck you guys. That's a shit oh, roll. Before, before before that, uh, future of Brooklyn Nine Nine. Do you think it's gonna find new life? I think it will. Absolutely. I think it's gonna find life on something we've never heard of before. <laughs> It'll be on your microwave so next week. They'll create some brain yeah. cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be the Brooklyn Broadcast Network. They'll just make their own network, yeah. and it'll just be Brooklyn Nine Nine. They'll just stream every episode live on Facebook. It'll easily be picked up, though. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I don't know by who. The Andre Brown Network. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, just Andre. Would you put it that much far past you if Andy Sandberg just made his own network? I don't know if he'd have the money. I know he's no, probably. He would. I feel like he would. I think NBC will end up picking it up. I yeah. Think, see, I think Netflix. It's a favorite. I'll place my bet on Netflix. I don't know that NBC would want to pick up a Fox property, even though it's like NBC Universal Productions. Feels like NBC likes to create their own. Possibly, yeah. 
They do like Andy Sandberg, though. Mm. No, true. <laughs> Who doesn't besides you? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of my problems. <laughs> In the hallway. <laughs> oh, damn it, Andy Sandberg. It's the wall. You and Jennifer just... Aniston won't return my emails. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Eh, whatever. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're going to leave it there. So, everybody, remember to like and subscribe and do all the things you do on iTunes, I don't know. And <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Don't do that on Google. <laughs>